Yeah. Um, again, those are my two cents. Let me see what else can I say about the show. I missed the Oprah show. Should have seen it from the beginning. Um, I've been very busy, so yeah, that's that. Y'all tell me what y'all think. You know, y'all tell me what y'all think. And if I was wrong in saying what I said, but it is my personal opinion, just tell me. I'm here. I'm all ears. All right. Um, again. Maybe I might cut this video in half because I wanted to teach y'all how to do the co-wash in person. I bought myself the Care Care. It says, um, you see that? Y'all can take a real good peek at it. That's the one I bought. Y'all see it? Yeah, Care Care Neglecto Cream Conditioner. So what I'm going to do is do a co-wash. Just put the conditioner itself and let it sit for about... I'm going to go for an hour because my hair is so darn thick. Um, and as I go for an hour, remember to put about two or three of these plastic caps on your hair. So my hair is completely dry. I have brushed it out earlier. So again, remember, y'all tell me what y'all thought of the, the Oprah show and the Tyra show. So I just want to make a little comment because some of you ladies were asking if I was going to make a comment. But sometimes, you know, because of certain videos I've done in the past where I'm so blunt, so brutal you can say, I didn't, I was hesitant about commenting. So I decided to comment anyway. And but really that is, that's how I feel about it. You know, I'm not saying that um your short hair is ugly. I'm not saying that your natural hair is ugly, cause I when my hair goes out of the perm, it's natural. So I'm ugly too then, cause my natural hair is growing out underneath. See, that's not the point. I'm just trying to say that um short, really short, shaved, crop hair on the average woman is not feminine looking to me. Maybe I can. You know, I don't know if y'all, I'm not going to say y'all can change my mind, I'm just saying, elaborate why, um, I might be thinking that way. So, I'm here actually admitting that perhaps certain females, I would say the average female has been conditioned to believe that you has to be super, I mean, you know, really long to be beautiful. But then again, I'm, I'm saying that, that, you don't have to have super long hair to be beautiful. I'm just saying that that's what's expected of us because we're females. So, you know, you don't have to please everybody either. I have guys asking me for help for, you know, that they want their girlfriends to, you know, take out the perm, or take out the weave and wear her hair natural. So, but, he, but they're not saying, you know, to wear it sh super short, just natural, which means you can have long, natural hair. But anyway, my, my thing is that black women can grow their hair very, very long, because that's what my channel's about. So, whether it's natural or relaxed. Twist this, get it out the way, and work on the second one. So I'm going to show you that even though my hair is very, very long, this can go really, really fast. So. Here we go. Let's go to the second part. What I need to do, what I was planning on doing is making a video regarding, I guess, re I don't even want to call it that, relaxed hair versus natural hair. Because every time relaxed ladies open up their mouth, you know, about natural hair ladies, it becomes a war zone. A war zone. And that's just ironic because <laughs> all of us were born with natural hair. It just happens, you know, to be in an era where we have access to things that relax us and we feel like perming it or relaxing or whatever you want to call it you know to straighten the hair but then it becomes so political just like Tyra says that oh no you're trying to imitate 
white standard of beauty, even though it's not just white people who are born with straight hair. You know, we got Indian people also. We got all kinds of races of of people. Even you know, even see, not all black people actually have kinky hair in either. When you do um, good for research, some of us are born with straight hair. Perhaps it's not that straight, straight, but it's still straight. So, so I don't know where that turn came from. You're trying to imitate white people. You know. They're not the only ones born. And anyway, another thing, all white people don't have straight hair. Who said all white people have straight hair? So you cannot just generalize a certain race or group and say all of them, you know, you're trying to imitate all white people as saying all white people have straight hair. That's untrue. All black people have kinky, nappy hair. That's untrue. You know. Certain places in Africa, there's African women with hair down to their behind, so they know how to take care of their hair. But you're never going to see that. They're never going to show you that on TV, I mean. You know, they just show the tightly coiled African woman with their hair. They don't even, I don't even see too many um, visuals with um, African women with braids. They just show, you know, it's like, you know, they're trying to say that it's bad. The, the nappy, kinky hair is bad. That's the way I see it, you know. That's the way I see it. See, it's, it's all a matter of how you take care of your hair. You know, you can wear it natural, but just keep, keep, just take care of it. Make it look as nice as possible for you, you know. So it can be healthy. Because even if your hair is relaxed and it's unhealthy, Let's be honest, it looks ugly. It looks ugly if you keep it unhealthy. You know. People can tell the, your health by looking at your hair. If they see that you have, if your hair is, looks healthy, bouncy, looks nice, it, it doesn't look dirty, you know, automatically, okay, this person takes good care of themselves. This person has nice hygiene <laughs> or whatever. They're not going to think, oh, look at that dirty person. No, I'm being brutal right in this portion because it's true. All this stuff is true. People do judge you first by how you look, unfortunately. So, you know, it's not something Shima made up. It's something that that's that's life. That's life. They do judge you. They do judge a book by its cover. So, but um, that uh, also one last thing I wanted to say that lady we always did bring up a good point that if Oprah chopped off her hair it will make a huge difference you know let's be real so long as just um she's technically still in the shadow of Beyonce you know the only reason she is relevant at all, at all is because of Beyonce you know oh the, who's that I was like who's oh that's so long Beyonce's sister so but if someone like Oprah did it <laughs> so if Beyonce did that it will make a difference, you know. If she did what, if they did what Um Salon did, went chopped off their hair and showed off their natural beauty, it will make a difference, a huge difference. But you know, give pops to Um Salon for being bold enough to do that. So, but you know, my channel, I try to, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm trying to offend nobody. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what pe most people are thinking. You know, that's why it seems like I'm controversial, but I just say what most people are thinking. And so, now then I'm trying to be. I don't try to be controversial, really. Just say what people are thinking, but afraid to say because they're afraid what other people would think of them. But whatever, I take. I just take my chances, you can say. Let me see if I sit next to y'all a little bit so y'all can see what's up. Alright, what's my name? Okay. Um, put this over the little ones, okay? This is the, the real shower cap. Okay? No. One, two, and 
voila, three. Whoa. You could also sit under the hair dryer. Put it on medium or cool. So take your time doing your cold wash. But I'm just walking around the house because the natural body heat will help penetrate the conditioner into your hair strands. Okay? So remember, I'll be back, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll be back. Um, let me know what y'all think about the Tyra show, or Mary King, she was on Mary King, and the Oprah show. And, you know, what y'all think, y'all personal opinion. I stated mine. I was hesitant about stating it because I'm in your face. I mean, I'm straight up and down. <laughs> See ya. Bye.